Some graphics cards look like amazing deals in 2026. They're cheap, easy to find, and constantly recommended online. But buying the wrong one right now is one of the fastest ways to waste your money. Because in 2026, it's not about whether a GPU can run a game, it's about whether it runs it smoothly. A lot of older, cheap GPUs still look fine in benchmarks, but in real gameplay, they stutter, drop frames, and feel bad to play. And that's exactly why today we're going over the GPUs you should not buy in 2026, even if they're cheap. The GTX 1650 is easily one of the most misleading GPUs you can buy in 2026. And I get why people keep choosing it. It's low power, it's widely available, and everyone says it's good enough for esports. The problem is that advice is outdated. In 2026, the GTX 1650's 4GB of VRAM is a hard wall. Even in games like Fortnite or Warzone, you'll hit memory limits that cause stuttering and frame drops. And the worst part is the price. The GTX 1650 is often priced way too close to much faster used GPUs. So you're not saving money, you're paying for familiarity and getting significantly worse performance. And unfortunately, the GTX 1650 isn't the only old favorite that hasn't aged well. The RX 580 is one of those GPUs that just refuses to die. It's cheap, it's everywhere on the used market, and it used to be an absolute budget king. But in 2026, that reputation is doing more harm than good. The RX 580 draws a lot of power for the performance it delivers. It runs hotter, louder, and less efficiently than newer budget GPUs. And while it can still hit playable FPS numbers, frame pacing in newer games is noticeably worse. That's when gameplay starts to feel inconsistent, even if the average FPS looks okay. So, unless you're getting one for almost nothing, the RX 580 just isn't worth the compromises anymore. And the RX 580 isn't the only GPU people buy out of nostalgia. The GTX 1060 is another GPU that people recommend because of how good it used to be. And to be fair, it was a fantastic card in its time. The problem in 2026 isn't whether it can still play games, it's whether it makes sense for the price people are asking. Most GTX 1060s are priced close to GPUs that are significantly faster and more efficient. And unlike newer cards, the 1060 doesn't have access to modern upscaling, features that actually extend a GPU's lifespan. So while it might feel like a safe choice, you're paying too much for too little performance and very little future-proofing. And now we get to a GPU that's a little more controversial. RTX 2060. The RTX 2060 is probably the most controversial GPU on this list. And before anyone gets mad, no, it's not unusable. The reason people still buy it in 2026 is simple. It has DLSS, it has RTX branding, and it sounds future-proof. But in reality, most RTX 2060s come with just 6 GB of VRAM. And that becomes a real limitation in newer games, even at 1080p. Ray tracing also isn't realistic on this card. You end up turning it off just to maintain smooth performance, which defeats the point of buying an RTX GPU in the first place. At similar prices, there are non-RTX cards that deliver better raw performance, more consistent frame times, and a better overall experience. So again, not a bad GPU, just a bad buy in 2026. The RX 5500 XT is a GPU that doesn't get talked about much, and that's part of the problem. On paper, it looks decent. It's newer than cards like the RX 580, and it sounds like a safe budget option. But in 2026, the RX 5500 XT is usually priced higher than it should be, and for that money, the performance just isn't there. You end up paying close to much faster GPUs while getting weaker performance and limited long-term value. It's not terrible, it's just quietly one of the worst deals in the budget GPU space right now. So, if these GPUs don't make sense anymore, what should you actually buy in 2026? For most budget gamers, the answer is simple, the RX 6600. Compared to the GPUs we just talked about, the RX 6600 is a massive step forward. It delivers much higher performance at 1080p, far better efficiency, and noticeably smoother frame times. It also handles modern games the way you'd expect in 2026. You don't have to constantly drop settings or fight stutters just to stay playable. And the biggest reason it makes sense right now is pricing. On the used market, the RX 6600 often costs about the same as many of those older GPUs, but performs on a completely different level. This is the kind of upgrade where you feel the difference immediately, not just in benchmarks, but in how smooth games actually play. And if you find a good deal, the RX 6650 XT is even better. In 2026, the worst GPU isn't the weakest one. It's the one that looks like a deal, but isn't. Spend smart, avoid these cards, and you'll have a much better gaming experience.